Good evening. The Queen has opened a new session of Parliament. There were few surprises in her speech. The government's message is continuity, not change. In West Germany, gunmen are holding about 40 people hostage in a Turkish consulate. And the owner of a pedigree poodle which produced puppies she didn't expect wins her claim for damages. Now these and other stories with subtitles. The government's programme of legislation to be put forward in the next year was announced this morning. The details were given in the Queen's speech from the throne at the state opening of Parliament. There were few surprises in the speech which could be the last before a general election. As expected, the government want to privatise British Telecom and parts of the state-owned British shipbuilders. Other measures include safeguards on the holding of computer data about individuals and wider powers for the police to stop suspects and search them. One subject omitted from the speech is the imposing of secret ballots on the trade unions. The opposition attack on the speech was led by Michael Foote, who called for action this autumn to provide more jobs. But there's no sign in Whitehall that the Chancellor is planning a midi budget in the near future. There's a new question mark over security at Buckingham Palace after a report in today's Daily Mirror. Two Mirror newsmen say they were able to park their car in the Royal Mews without being properly checked. They used an official parking pass, which they allegedly bought from a palace gateman in a nearby pub. Palace security was meant to have been tightened after the incident when Michael Fagan got into the Queen's bedroom. Two newsmen from The Sun have been arrested in the grounds of Highgrove House, Prince Charles' home in Gloucestershire. They were found taking pictures there, but were later released. The Prince and Princess of Wales were away in London at the state opening of Parliament. The left-wing gunmen who've seized the Turkish consulate in the West German city of Cologne have freed five more of their prisoners unharmed. They're still thought to be holding about 40 other people in the building, which they seized at lunchtime. The dozen or so gunmen have been talking to a Turkish diplomat about their demands. In the American midterm elections, the Democratic Party has been making substantial gains. The Democrats look like taking 25 more seats in the House of Representatives, though the Republicans are holding on to their majority in the Senate. The Democratic victories may put new pressure on President Reagan to moderate the rigor of his economic policy. The Warwickshire dog breeder, Miss Helen Martin, has won her court action over the mating of her white poodle. It produced black puppies after supposedly mating with another white dog. As a result, the court awarded Miss Martin nearly £900 in damages. In Newsnight later this evening, the continuing mystery of the sinking of the Lusitania. Peter Hobday, in the third of his special reports, comes up with what appears to be final proof that the Cunada was carrying contraband live munitions when it sank. Today's Commons debate on the Queen's speech sounded what many MPs see as the opening shots of a general election campaign. We report on how the parties are shaping up for the battle ahead. American voters yesterday gave President Reagan a stern midterm warning. Charles Wheeler in Washington assesses what impact those results will have. And we look at a radical development in private medicine which offers some people a fully comprehensive general practitioner's service. Join us on Newsnight at 10.45 tonight. And now, a look at the weather.